A promise is always a what? A promise is always a what, dear viewers? A debt. And fulfilling a debt is what I love most when it comes to any promise on matters English. So, for that matter, I have to do exactly what I said when I talked to you in the previous video, and that is about names, a huge collection of tricky names to handle. Now, as we do that, can you first take a look at this list? There are two groups. Can you say the ones at the top? Can you say the ones above? The ones at the top, the first three. <laughs> Easy. Simply Mary, Tom, and Helen. Mary, Tom, and Helen. Fairly simple. Now, can you say the last three? Can you say them again? <laughs> when I talk about tricky names, some of them, we know them in the wrong way in terms of pronunciation. Like the first one. Many people in many parts of the world say Beatrice. Beatrice. Because we have that word beat in the English vocabulary. And we are used to it. We also mispronounce it because of what we commonly hear around us as we grow up. So you find many people mispronouncing that name as Beatrice. Beatrice, no. Is it a surprise to you wherever you are? Whether you are in Australia, Japan, Germany, where, where are you exactly? Pakistan, Kenya, Uganda, Botswana, C-A-R, are you in America? Well, it can be tricky. This name is actually pronounced Beatrice. Beatrice. Those who know will also guide you further. Beatrice. But as I always say about names, they are tricky. The best way or the best people to pronounce names are those who hail from their areas or places of origin. Where the name originates, those people from that place can easily guide you well. But when you have also some good guidance, because knowledge is in the books and other reference materials, you can make it. So that name, please, this name, you say Beatrice. Avoid Beatrice. Clear? Good. Now, the second one, tricky. I know there are people who may have said Zacchaeus. Well, in some churches or in certain religious groups, Zacchaeus is acceptable. But if you pronounce this name from the perspective of English, you say Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. That is the pronunciation. Zacchaeus. Clear? Then lastly, this is not a very common name, but found, found in England. It's a family name, and I know many people would say Cholmondeley. Cholmondeley, Cholmondley, and all that. But believe you me, with all the letters, this name is simply pronounced Chamley. Chamley. Chamley is acceptable, but Chamley. Chamley is the pronunciation of this name. Clear? Well, we have to get them right. Now, I have to take you through the names that I have collected for you. Now, let's just go straight to this part. The first name, John. You say John. The second one, don't say Joan. Joan, no. You say Joe, Joan, Joan, John, J O H N, John, J O A N, Joan, Joan. Do you remember the word moan? To moan, groan, the same, same sounding O. You use it in this name. Don't say Joan. Joan, no. Joan, Joan. Are you called Joan or you are called Joan wherever you are? It happens. Don't worry. We are learning. Now, the next one, you say pious. Pious. That is this one. Pious. Many people would say pews. Pews, no. 
You may only use it maybe in a church. And depending on where you are, that is which part of the world. But the pronunciation of this name is Pius. Pius. The next one, Linus. Linus. This one, you say Linus. Then the next one, you say, you say which name? How do you pronounce this one? You say Kerry. Kerry. Don't say Kare. Kare is like saying Sarah because of what you see as a spelling instead of saying Sarah. That name, S A R A H, is Sarah. Also, this one, you say K, not Ka. Kerry. Kerry. It's pronounced the same way as K E R R Y. Kerry. Clear? Great. Now, let's come to this one. This is the one I was talking about. You say Sarah. Sarah, not Sarah that we are used to or we really know about, but it's Sarah. Clear? Then the next one, you say Isaac. Isaac. Clear? Don't say Isaac. Isaac, Isaac, no. Isaac, Isaac. Then lastly, this name is a bit tricky. Many people find themselves saying Wallace. Wallace, no. You say wo. Wallace. Wallace, you say Wallace, Liz or Les with a weak sound E. Wallace or Wallace, very tricky. I know many people have this name in the world and they find themselves saying Wallace. Wallace, no, that's a no. You say Wallace or Wallace, clear? Great, now let's move to the next group. The next group is uh, also, you know, a bit tricky for some of the names, but some are manageable. The first one, you say Lawrence. Lawrence. Don't say Lawrence. Lawrence, no. Lawrence. 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 The next one, Pauline or Pauline. Pauline, Pauline. Don't say Pauline. Pauline, no. Pauline or Pauline. Clear? Then the next one is Samuel. Samuel. But remember this one, you say Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. Tricky. Then the next one, the first one, you say Ba. B E R Ba. Bernard. Bernard. Then the next one, you say Bernard. Bernard. B E N. Ben. Bernard. B E R Ba. Bernard. Clear? Now the next one, we have. Gertrude, when it is G-E-T, G-E-T, Gertrude. But this one, you can realize we have R. So E and R takes the sound uh, Gertrude, Gertrude. When you have G-E-R, don't say Gertrude. You say G, Gertrude. Clear? Then lastly, this name, can you say it wherever you are? It's a popular name. Can you say it? <laughs> you say V, not V. Venus. Venus, not Venus. Clear? Maybe it's a surprise to some of us. This one you say V, Venus. Venus. It's a feminine name. Don't say Venus. No. Venus. Clear? Good. Let's move to the next uh, group. And this next group is right here. The first name you say Michael. Michael, not Mikhail. Second one, Rachel. Rachel, not Rachel, Rachel and all that. Rachel, Rachel. Michael, Rachel. Then the next one, you say, Josephat. Josephat. I know it's a surprise. Josephat, not Josephat. Josephat, no. Josephat. The next one, Josephine. Josephine, not Josephine. Then the next one, tricky, Jeffrey. And if you can realize I have a symbol showing you something about the two names, they are pronounced the same way. That is Jeffrey. Don't say Geoffrey, Geoffrey, no. You say Je Jeffrey. That is the pronunciation of this one and also the second one or the next one after this one. That one, J-E-F-F-R-E-Y, Jeffrey. G-E-O-F-F-R-E-Y, Jeffrey. Different spellings, same pronunciation. Clear? So avoid Geoffrey, 
Geoffrey and all that. Now, lastly, you say Leonard. Leonard. Don't say Leonard. Leonard, no. Leonard. That O in this name is silent. Just like in the word leopard. Leopard. You don't say leopard. Clear? So Leonard is the way to pronounce this name. We are learning. Is it clear? Great. Now, let's move to the next group. And the next group is right here. Now, the first name, we are used to saying Dina. Dina. But it's Dina. Dina. The second one, you say Diana. Diana. Not Diana. Diana, no. Diana. The next one, Joy. Joy. Then, Joey. Tricky. J-O-Y. Joy. Joy. But J-O-E-Y as a name. Or when you talk about the young one of a kangaroo, you say Joey. Joey. Not Joy. But J-O-Y. Simply Joy. Clear? Good. Now, the next one you say Charles. Charles. Not Charles. Charles. No. Charles. The next one, Alexander. Alexander, not Alexander. Alexander, no. Alexander or Alexander. The next one, Zadok. Zadok, not Zadok. Zadok. Lastly, you say Enoch. Enoch for E-N-O-C-K. And when it has the other spelling, that is E-N-O-C-H, you also say Enoch. Enoch, not Enoch. Clear? Great. Now, let's move to the next uh, group of names, and we have it right here. The first one, you say Patricia. Patricia. Then, Clement. Clement. Elias. Elias, not Elias. Elias, no. Elias or Elias. Then, Charlie. Charlie, not Charley. Charley, Shirley, no. Charlie. Charlie. Clear? Is it clear? Great. Then, Ashley. Ashley, not Ashley. Ashley. Then, Agri. Agri, not Agri. Lastly, you say Andrew. Andrew, not Andrew. Andrew, no. Ah, uh, Andrew. Clear? Ah, uh, in fact, the low front sound, ah, uh, Andrew. That is the way to pronounce it. Clear? Great. Then, we move now to the second last group, and it's right here. You say Evans, Evans. That S takes the sounding Z, Evans, Evans. Then the next one, you say Stephen, Stephen. The next name is Iso or Iso, but the best sounding is Iso, Iso, not Esau. Iso or Iso, not Esau. Clear? Esau is what we see, but you say Iso. Iso or Iso. Both are acceptable. Fanuel. Fanuel. Don't say Fanuel because of what we see in terms of the letter sequence. Fanuel. That is the pronunciation. Then, Serena. Serena. Earlier I talked about Venus. Venus, not Venus. This one, you say Serena, not Serena. Serena, no. Serena. That is the pronunciation. And lastly, you say Louis. Louis. This name is actually from French. You say, you say, Louis. Louis. Not Louise, Louise, and all that. But please, you know, sometimes, as I say, names are tricky depending on where you are. You may find a name pronounced in one region in one way, then you move to another part of the world, it's pronounced differently. Like the name Henry. Henry. When you go to France, you may find the sounding Henri. Henri. The name James. James. If you go to certain parts of the world, you may find Hames. Hames. The name Gyoz. Gyoz. That is J-O-S-E. Gyoz. If you go to certain parts of the world, what you'll find is Jose. Jose. They happen. So, names are tricky, as I always tell you, but you have just to get them right from the right guidance. Clear? Great. Now, that final group is right here. The first name, you say, Imelda. Imelda. 
The second one, Emmanuel, Emmanuel or Emmanuel. Emmanuel or Emmanuel. Clear? Great. The next one, Achilles, Achilles. Tricky. Achilles, not Achilles. Achilles, no. This name is very tricky, dear viewers. You don't say Achilles, you say Achilles. Achilles. Clear? Like Achilles tendon. Well, the next one, very tricky. You say Hughes. Hughes. Not Hugs, Hugs, and all that. No. Hughes. Hughes. Some names you say without following the spelling very closely. Hughes is the pronunciation of this name. Then the next one, you say Phineas. Phineas. This one. Phineas. Don't say fine has. Fine has no. Phineas. And lastly, you say Biden. Biden. Don't say Biden. Biden, no. Biden. Biden or Biden. Just like Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Clear? Biden, no. That is something that is very important for us to learn sometimes because names, you may have a name and if you're not told the way to pronounce it, maybe when you are growing up as a young child, your parents and other members of the family were mispronouncing your name. So you grow up hearing the mispronunciation to the extent that you find it difficult to unlearn. It happens to many people, especially when you are given a foreign name. Is that not true? Well, that is the very beauty of learning and getting it right. So, at this point, I have to remind you that you can also just reach me on just SMS or short text message and also email. So, take a look. That is plus two, five, four, two, five, four, seven, two, seven, O oh, two, nine, one, five, nine, plus two, five, four, seven, two, seven, O oh, two, nine, one, five, nine, or just use the email address, which is right here, Willis Ocheng 28 at gmail.com. Otherwise, it's always my pleasure to enjoy your company and that pleasure of your time because it's a privilege. But as we carry on, do remember to view, like, share, and what else do you do? You subscribe to support our initiative. Our next video, our next video, which I am preparing for you. Well, you'll get it because it's going to be something lovely for you. I know you know about those wrong spellings. Common but wrong spellings. I'll handle them for you. And I'll also handle a lot more. So don't miss. For now, it's Willis Ocheng from Kenya and telling you bye.